Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about creating print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please stick around. So in today's video, I uh, wanna go over how to create this design right here. This is a super fast, easy video. You can make this design literally in a minute or two. Um, it's got a kinda cool sport vibe to it, but this says Independence 1776. And of course, once you learn how to do this technique, you can go ahead and scale it out across a bunch of different niches. Um, so if this is something that you are interested in learning how to do, please stick around. And if you haven't yet, please hit like and subscribe. It really helps out my growing channel. Okay, so I'm on Canva's home page here. I'm gonna show you how to make a hopefully pretty quick design that you can you know, scale out, do a lot of different ways. So I'm gonna go ahead, go to custom size here. I'm gonna pick 4,500 by 5,400 pixels um, for this design. I am gonna be designing for black. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select my background color and that will be black. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and pick a text. So I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard and it will pull up a text box. So for this design, I'm gonna make, um, you could use it as a 4th of July design or just any sort of you know, USA kind of style design, patriotic, red, white, and blue, however you want to market it. Fourth of July is coming up, so it would be good for Fourth of July. But it's going to be a 1776 design, and it's going to have the word independence in it. Um, so if I go 1776, let's just start with that. This is going to be my background. And I'm going to go ahead and make this, you know, nice and big. Now I'm going to pick... Um, I want it to be sort of a bulky font, something big, something um, bold, sporty, I kind of like. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna put in sport and see what comes up. And there's a lot of different sporty kind of fonts. Um, so there is one that says sports, there's one that's called graduate, yearbook outline, yearbook solid, sports world. So these are all good ones that you could use. Um, and so you can look through, try to find what you like. Um, Boxing is another, that one's a little bit weird. So let's go ahead. I'm thinking yearbook solid is probably gonna work good. There is a yearbook outline I can do and that might actually work well as well. It just depends how thick I want that outline to be. But if I do solid, I can do an outline effect by going to effects and doing hollow and then I can change how sort of thick or thin the outline is and so that's one way that I can do that and so I want something that's you know a little thick but not necessarily too you know really thick and so something like that looks pretty cool so let's say I just go ahead and go with this this is going to be the one I go with so I want to save this in two different colors so I'm going to make a red version and save it and I'm going to make a blue version and save it so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys let's just pick a nice bright red color Oops, sometimes this glitches on me. Hold on. Pick my nice bright red color. And so I've got it all the way on reds. Pick a nice bright red. That'll do right there. And so I'm going to put 1776 red. And I'm going to download this transparent backgrounds. And I'll just get that downloaded. And then I'm going to do this one more time. And this time I'm going to go ahead and go with blue. So I'm going to pick a nice bright blue color. And so something like that might do, something nice and bright to go with the red. And I'm going to go ahead and save this as 1776 blue. And hit download, transparent background, it's a PNG. Click download, so now I've got my red and my blue versions saved. So now what I can do is go over to uploads, and I'm going to upload both of those versions. So I'm just going to upload file, and click upload for my blue and click upload for my red cool and once i get those i can just go ahead click on both and bring them onto my page so here are my two versions now i don't necessarily need this main version anymore i can get rid of it or if i want to be able to edit it let's just say um you know i made a mistake i want it to be thicker i want it to be thinner the easiest way is just always to add a page that way you can keep your original text on one page and then work on the second page that way, just in case there's an issue, I can always, oops, why is this doing this? Go back and make alterations. So I'll keep the text on the first page and then I'll go ahead and work on my second page. To make these a little bit easier, I am gonna start by just cropping them down so they're a little easier to work with. 
I'm cropping them, um, you know, vertically, but I'm not going to crop them horizontally because the way I'm going to make sure they're the right size is by just pulling them across so that they fit the page horizontally. And so that is one way to make sure that I'm working with kind of the right size like that. Now I can go ahead if I want to, I can line these up and they should line up pretty perfectly. And so now what I'm looking at doing is cropping in half. So you could see something like that if I did that. Now I've got it, you know, half blue, half red. I actually want to have a little bit of a gap in between. So now I can take that top one and I'm going to crop it up. And so what I'm doing is I'm creating this gap here. So if I did something like this, now you can see that there is a gap in the 1776 and I can make this gap whatever size I want, but you can see pretty easy there. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some text right in the middle. And so I'm going to hit T on my keyboard. And I think what I'm going to go ahead and do, whoops, is I'm going to go with um, independence. Now I'm going to change the font. I, I want it to be more of a scripty font. I don't want it this bold font anymore. So let's go ahead and pick a script. And so I'm looking for something. I mean, that's just the first one I went to. It says brush script. And I mean, that could work just fine. Um, just to show you, but you can pick anything you want. And so I'm taking this and it's going to kind of fill in this gap. And so you might have to play with its size. You might have to play a little bit with the location, bringing it down, in, out, whatever you need to do to make it kind of look good. You can play with the size of the gap too by making the gap bigger or smaller. But I mean, there you go. That was pretty, pretty much it. And so really quick and easy to do this and it's a cool fun independence day style design that of course you could you know wear at any point because it doesn't necessarily say the 4th of July on it but it's a cool red white and blue design it's really simple and once you learn how to do this style you can do it for a lot of other designs so again just by changing the year and changing the word you can come up with a lot of creative ways that you can go ahead and scale this out. So this was just meant to be a really quick and easy video. Um, so I'm going to download this as is 1776 independence. And I'm going to go ahead, hit share, hit download. It's a transparent background. It's a PNG. Whenever I've got more than one page, I just need to select the page I want, which is going to be page two hit done and hit download and now it is literally ready to go on a shirt this would look good either on a black shirt um, a navy blue shirt actually would probably look good any kind of really dark gray might look good some of like the heather blues would look good and so you know just a nice easy design fast quick um, if you have any questions about this, you can drop it in the comments section below. I'll try to get back to you. If you have any video requests, again, drop it in the comments section below. I'll try to get back to you. I just wanted to put out a nice quick video since I know some of the more recent ones have been a little bit more on the lengthy side. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.